One foot stepped on a glass ball. The little girl was stabbed with blood. At this time, there is a huge force underwater, with the smell of blood towards the girl. Fortunately, at the last moment the girl left. What is this mysterious creature? Yesterday, an old man in the lake while drinking and fishing. He looked very comfortable. Suddenly he accidentally dropped the bottle into the bottom of the lake, and then the mountain began to shake violently. The bottom of the lake began to cave in, opening a huge gap. The calm surface of the lake began to rotate continuously, forming a big whirlpool. The old man accidentally fell into the water. At that moment, countless mysterious creatures swarmed out of the crack. They rushed towards the old man along the whirlpool and instantly gnawed him to pieces. The police received the news of the old man's disappearance. They came to search the lake, but only found his skeleton. In order to find out what really happened at the bottom of the lake, the female sheriff came with researchers to investigate. Two researchers dived into the water. Soon. They found a hole. After drilling into it, there was another huge space. There were many strange things inside. When they looked closely, they saw fish eggs. The man was curious and tried to touch them. But suddenly he was bitten by something. Instantly, blood spread out. The man hurriedly cut open the burning stick. But there was a terrible scene in front of him. Then the school of fish attacked the man fiercely. His teammates found something wrong and immediately came to rescue him. But it was too late. By the time the man was retrieved, he had been knocked to the bone. A fish was still hanging from his leg. The police took the fish to the biologist and wanted him to see what kind of fish it was. When the old professor saw what was inside was directly dumbfounded, he took out an ancient fossil and compared it carefully. Yes, it is the ancient aquatic dominant piranha, but this creature died out a million years ago. How could it reappear? Such an ancient piranha. It had a wrinkled face and a mouth full of fangs. The old professor wanted to touch it. It is as brutal as the legend, but piranhas have been extinct since two million years ago. How could they reappear? The old professor guesses, maybe because of the volcanic eruption two million years ago. All the piranhas were trapped in the underground lake, and this earthquake just opened the underground lake. The old professor also told them that piranhas are the dominant fish in the water. They like to attack their prey in groups. They have no rival in the water. Hearing this, the female sheriff became nervous, because at this time, the lake was holding the annual carnival festival. She immediately took colleagues to the scene to disperse tourists. They fired a gun to signal everyone to evacuate. But the young people did not pay attention to it, but played even more. They had no idea the danger was coming. The enemy had 30 seconds to reach the battlefield. Instant screams of misery. The lake was dyed red. The party turned into a huge fish feeding scene. In order to cover the evacuation of the police, he took off the motor of his kayak and stuck it underwater to attack. He intended to fight piranhas to the death, but there were too many piranhas. He soon could not stand up to fall in the blood splash, but his sacrifice gave everyone a chance to escape. The survivors all boarded the yacht. At that moment, the sheriff's cell phone ran. It was her son, Tech, who was in danger. It turned out that his son was also in the lake. The yacht got caught in the weeds. The captain accelerated and hit the rocks in front of him. The lake swarmed into the cabin in an instant. The captain and his companion accidentally fell into the water. Instantly, his companion was turned into white bones. The captain struggled desperately in the water. By the time the people rescued him, the lower half of his body had already disappeared. Soon he still stopped breathing. At that moment the female sheriff arrived. They used ropes to connect the two boats together. The female sheriff climbed to the opposite side, calmed the crowd and prepared to take them to escape. The four men had to climb into the opposite boat. Under the water were horrible piranhas. They crawled cautiously. Unexpectedly, the woman's hair was too long. She was caught by the piranha bite. No matter how hard she tried to break free. The piranha wouldn't let her go. Finally, the woman could not bear to fall into the water. Instantly became the piranha snack. The two children saw the situation and immediately accelerated. They climbed to the opposite boat as fast as they could. At that moment, the rope suddenly loosened. The policewoman fell into the water. Luckily, the man was quick and accelerated the boat to pull her up. At this time, Jack's girlfriend was still trapped in the boat. The water level was getting higher and higher. A group of piranhas were watching. Jack did not want to leave his girlfriend alone to escape, so he came up with a plan. He tied the rope to himself. Then he threw the captain's body into the water. He lured the piranhas away and dove into the water. He swam from the bottom of the ship to the inside and found his girlfriend. Then he unscrewed the gas cans. He uses the walkie-talkie to tell the people outside, count down to five and drag them out. After saying that, he unscrewed the flares. He waited quietly, but he didn't expect the yacht outside to break down and not work. The two people under the water still do not know. To make matters worse, the piranhas had already eaten the captain's body. The piranhas were now lunging at Jack. Just then, 
The yacht exploded with a bang. In the last moment, Jack was dragged out. All the piranhas around them were killed by the explosion. Everyone was finally safe. But just when they thought it was all over, the old professor called them. The specimen you left with me has no mature reproductive organs. What are you talking about? They're the babies. Babies? So, where are the parents? <laughs>